Yay! Uh, it's Hangover Gaming? Hi, I'm Ed. We're playing video games. We lost a baby, which is not surprising, and uh, I'm probably gonna need to go find it. I'm with Hyunjin. We're playing Dream Daddy. Hello. It's a thing. You know, this seems to happen to, like, PTA parents in the neighborhood a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Children. This is weird. It's, it's almost like we were it's, in this exact it's situation. A, it's a Helen situation all over again. Oh, God. <laughs> This is our new neighbor, Ed and his daughter, Amanda. I love how he's not gonna panic and go find his fucking kid. He's like, oh, I'll just finish this conversation. Hey. I'd shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. What does this lady look like? So she looks like she's like pushing into her sternum, like she has maybe like the worst anxiety of all goddamn time. I mean, if you pursue that route, you might find out what the fuck is wrong. So. Mm, but Joseph, I don't like him. Yeah, there are multiple routes. You could always play through multiple. No. <laughs> We're doing this once. Y you told me once. That's true. That's all you have to do. But if you know what the f want to know what the fuck is wrong with her. She's got cancer. She's got a demon. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know she's like, I'll shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine. It's like, you got two hands, mate. I love her. Nice to meet you, Mary. Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. No, get the <sighs> fuck out of here. <laughs> My wife has a wonderful sense of humor, but please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. He seems like he's dying. Like, do I need to save Joseph? Is he is he okay? Here, let me introduce you around. Okay. This is Robert. He lives just across the way. Oh, he's so crusty. I want to fight him. <laughs> Can we fight? A haggard man nursing a glass of whiskey eyes me up and down. Yeah, yeah, no, I want to fight him. Hey, I'm Ed. It's nice to meet you. He takes a long swig of his drink. Charmed. Hi. Ed and his daughter just moved in next door. Cool. Uh, if you ever need recommendations on where to get a drink in this town, Rob's your man. <laughs> I told you not to call me Rob. This man, I think, is too much like me. I could not date him because I think we would just Ooh, be the same. Out. You don't want to date yourself? No, we already had a weird thing with... I didn't tell you guys about that. We're gonna just leave that. Well, nope, nope. Okay, now, now nope. I wanna know. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Got it? We're never discussing this again. Robert ambles away without saying no, goodbye. We're gonna discuss it. Maybe on break. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> he's not really a people person. Yeah, he's you. Well, I think I've actually met everybody else. <laughs> Great. I bet you're excited to get to know everyone better. I hope you both enjoy yourselves. Amanda and I mill around and try and find- there are some of this food spread out on the table. I pick out some deviled eggs. Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling it with baked goods. Oh, I don't want to have to make friends. Ugh. Come on, Dad. Who are you going to party with when I go off to school? I don't want to have to do pleasantries. Uh. <sighs> Dad. Oh, I'm going to talk about the weather. Ugh. Go. Do it. Make a friend. But how could I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's bad parenting. <laughs> This plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye. I've been a bad dad. Amanda shoves me into the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around the party and I'm surprised to see some familiar faces. Isn't that the barista from the coffee spoon? What a cool guy and mysterious. Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? Yeah, we well, can fuck right off. Isn't that the guy who was throwing a fit in Dead Golf and Beyond? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Hey, I know Craig. But wait a second, all these people live in our cul-de-sac? That can't be right. I better investigate. <sighs> okay, Matt so far is the only one that I think might even... If I have to date, if the goal is to date one, uh -huh. it's coffee guy. Alright. Probably. So you're, you're gonna date the brown man. That is mm. nice. Yeah. Well, I guess there are two brown men. And the native. So. Yeah, we're hanging out oh and not with the creepy white children of the corn people. Or the guy that you hate. Yeah, I, oh, I hate him. God, I hate him. I hate him so much. Matt and Hugo seem to be embroiled in an intense discussion. Craig looks on, smiling politely. I walk over to say hello. This baby just constantly looks like she's having a heart attack. <laughs> well, I don't think it's fair to try and compare two art movements like that. No, oh, that does sound like Nathan. Periods in art only exist because they're a unique byproduct of the social and political climate at the time and place to try and take something like, say, the Rococo period and compare it to postmodernism in America, you're completely disregarding the context in which a work of art is created. Oh my god, that sounds just like Nathan. 
<laughs> My ego seem to be so busy talking they don't notice me. Craig leans in. Dude, I have no idea what's happening. Ah. Oh god, I don't know. No! Matt, right? You know, and Craig, I don't want him coming on me I'm like that towards me anymore. I'm not, I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm not. Mm -mm. You shoot an eggplant emojis at me and I, I, I'm, I'm uncomfortable. Hmm. That kind of comparison just eliminates the reason art movements are so important in the first place. Hmm. You're not wrong, but I think there's no harm in comparing one work of art to another. You could definitely say one painting is better than another if you're evaluating technical skill from a purely formless standpoint. That is literally exactly what I was saying the other day to somebody. Yeah? Yeah, yes. yeah it was. I was there for Yeah, the literally. Conversation. Yeah, you were talking with Rose. Matt gets it. Matt gets points. You get it. <laughs> if I showed you a Matisse and then something by the Dutch Masters, which would you say shows more technical progress? Oh, yep. Nice. Oh, I'm so lost right now. I'm not. I'm, I'm fine. I'll shoot a worried glance over to Craig who returns <sighs> it. Well, sure. You could say that the Dutch Masters were technically more skilled, but I would argue that while the Dutch Masters were better painters, Matisse had better paintings overall. I mean, did he? I'm not a fan of Matisse. Uh, I'd say that's pretty subjective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. How do you mean? Uh, well, the painting of the guy with the apple in front of his face is pretty nice. Matisse rocks. Mm hmm? That's Magritte. Yeah, that's Magritte. Right, ah, uh, sorry. You're fine, dude. Uh. We were just discussing the importance of context when talking about our work. Listen, all I asked is if you like Van Gogh or Picasso better. Oh, God. Oh, you say Van Gogh. Yeah. Oh, look at you. All Americans like that say Van Gogh. Well, that's not right. I say Van Gogh, but then people look at me weird. Sense of that. <laughs> <laughs> um... Hugo throws up his hands in frustration. Well, they represent two completely different art movements. How could I possibly choose between the thick, creamy pasto of post-impressionism and the abstractionist beauty of cubism? This is what it is like to have Nathan in my head. It's awful. I would just like to say... It sucks. <laughs> no offense, buddy, but you're you're loud. Man, that's all way above my head. Uh -huh. Me too. Oh. <laughs> it's all good, man. The cool thing about art is that we all perceive it differently. A single piece could have a totally different effect on each person that looks at it, and that's awesome. That's exactly what Rose was saying the other day. Mm. Nice. Just one more minute about that. Hugo, please. Oh my god, yeah, that's exactly what Nathan does. He's like, oh, I gotta prove that I'm oh. right. Sorry, sorry. I get really fired up about art stuff. Nathan. Ed, how are you liking the neighborhood? Um, it's pretty nice. Everybody's been super friendly. Do. Seems like your daughter is fitting in just fine. Matt points across the yard to where Amanda, Daisy, and another young girl are playing. They are all sitting cross-legged in the grass, picking weeds and weaving them into little flower crowns. It's pretty adorable. The girl I don't recognize jogs over to us. Hey. What is <gasps> she's adorable! Wow, she's so cute! Cute in it. Oh, precious bean! Hey. Well, there's only one way to find out. Matt takes the flower crown and places it on top of his head. What a good dad! Hey. Am I cool now? Wow! Majestic. He looks great. The girl stares at him, thinking it over. Mm, no, but you're slightly less uncool than you were before you put it on. Oh, that's that's kind of mean. I feel like he's pretty cool. Hey, dude. <laughs> hey, Ed, this is my daughter. Hello. I'm Carmen Sita. <laughs> Amanda comes over with Daisy and Tom. Dad, look, I'm making friends. Yeah. Are you making friends? You better be making friends. Oh, the pressure. Yeah, actually, Amanda, do you, you remember the cool barista from the coffee shop and my old college friend and uh, your teacher? Huh? Oh, hi, Mr. Vega. I didn't realize we were neighbors. Oh. Yep. You still gonna give me that overdue term paper? Oh. <laughs> Great seeing you! Retreat! Yeah! <laughs> I'm at the finger guns away out of the conversation like a champ. She learned the finger gun moves from me. I'm very proud. Hmm? She's definitely a charmer. Speaking of which, where did my son go? Huh? Hugo looks around the party. He must have finally spotted him because his eyes go wide. What? Ernest! Ernest Hemingway Vega! Are you smoking? Would Nathan ever name his child something like that? I don't know. I don't know that even kids are on his radar. Ask so. quite the, ask the question in the comments. What do you? Oh, actually, you know, y'all give your suggestions. What would Nathan name his child? Yeah. <laughs> give us terrible, terrible suggestions. 
Hmm? Oh, this is holding a lit cigarette. Oh. Nope. I see Ernest across the way. He casually takes a long drag of the cigarette and then flicks it into the gutter. Hmm. Unbelievable. Excuse me. Go kick his ass. Hugo marks, marches over to Ernest and I turn my attention to Matt and Craig. Kids, right? Kids, no, right? No, we're all just like kids, right? Because <laughs> everybody's like super uncomfortable. Man, I do not envy Hugo. The uh, last barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants and nearly burned down half the yard. I'm not saying that's hilarious, but that's hilarious. Hmm. And the barbecue before we had that, it actually burned down half the yard. Oh, good. And then it spread onto my lawn and burned down half my yard, too. Bummer. I don't know. Hugo walks back over to us, practically dragging Ernest behind him. Wow, look at that little punk! All these hmm. male kids are so crusty. Hey, everybody. Sorry about that, Ed. This is my son, Ernest. Hello. Ernest looks away, sulking, his hands shoved deep in his pockets. Hugo nudges him impatiently. Hey. Nice to meet you, Ernest. What grade are you in? Does it matter? Hmm? Okay, okay, I'm in the eighth grade. God, are you happy now? I'm sure you were just dying to know. Uh, yeah, good for you. Oh. Can I go now? I'm tired of talking to old dudes who blame my generation for failing the economy. How dare you assume that I am one of them? Ouch. Uh. Ernest. Oh, yeah, because I'm totally embarrassing you. I just put the earbuds in and storms off to stand in the corner. Well, that was that was certainly something. Poor kid, he's probably just really frustrated about something. He seems nice. Hugo puts his head in his hands and sighs. Hmm? I'm so sorry. He's having a really tough time. Yeah. As much as I want to be the cool dad, I have to be the authoritarian dad. Uh, <clears throat> and he clearly resents me for it. Bummer. Well, this barbecue's awkward, so, um, I guess we're just gonna go awkward barbecue. I'm gonna tell Hyunjin not about the thing. Please? Mm -mm, oh, no. No, we'll be back. See you in the next video. Please, 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 <laughs> I've completely lost feelings in my left foot. I'm gonna drink more coffee. Did you hear that perfectly sounding like rabbit, like water drops sploosh from this coffee? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay.